Break the grip. Cross grip. Push pull. Yank, yank, yank. Start getting these hands to the mat. Whip your arm underneath. You're going to the same side as your arm. Punching, using your wrist on the back of your own wrist. So like the back of my hand to my wrist here. And then BJJ for breakfast. What's up everybody? Thank you for supporting the channel. If you like what you're seeing and you want more content, think about joining the BJJ for breakfast membership for just $4.99 a month. You get exclusive member only content and it'll give you a deeper understanding of each of the videos that I post each week. Take your skills to the next level. Thank you. Doing um, loop chokes from standing, which is actually a little better than the guillotine. We we're doing guillotine last week. So for the loop choke, we're gonna go off of the sleeve grip and you're gonna wanna get a cross collar grip, okay? You're gonna need it kinda high. You don't want it too low because when you hit that loop choke, when you put it on, you're gonna want it to be tight. So you're gonna wanna go a little high, kinda like right above the clavicle, maybe your top knuckle or two knuckles above the clavicle. I gotta get him in a bent over position, so I'm gonna use this as a snap down. So we're gonna move around, move around, and I'm gonna snap down, and I'm gonna try to get his hands to the mat. If I can get his hands to the mat, then I could run the move. So once I get his hands to the mat, the arm that has his um, lapel, I'm gonna drop that elbow and whip it underneath his throat, okay? So now I've got this lapel across his throat. I take the other hand, and I punch it across, and I go like I'm shooting like a fireball in Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna put my palm up real hard. Boom, that locks it in. And then you walk your feet forward, and you stand tall. Okay, so you're casting, right, with the with the collar grip, and this hand, boom, like that, like a aruken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so same thing. Let's say he gets our grip. We break the grip. We punch and get that cross grip right above the clavicle. All right, we want it to be tight. Push pull, push pull. We yank, yank, and start backing up as you're yanking till you get him on his hands and knees, and then we're gonna drop our elbow under his throat. And then this hand makes it tight. Punch, pull, and, and lift your palm up, and then cast, okay? You'll get a quick tap. There's ways for him to wiggle out, but usually it comes on so strong that you'll get a quick tap. And later in the week, we'll go over some ways, if they do start moving, to make it, to make it tight. We break the grip. We get the cross grip here. We pull, we pull, we yank, we get his hands down to the mat. We drop our elbow, whip it across his throat. This hand comes, you punch, come in so that he can't just easily turn out of it and then start casting. Casting, I mean, it's like you're casting a fishing rod, yeah? And then you're going under your own arm and curling your wrist back. One more. Let's go side again. Break the grip, cross grip. Push, pull, yank, yank, yank. Start getting his hands to the mat. Whip your arm underneath. You're going to the same side as your arm. Punching, using your wrist on the back of your own wrist. So like the back of my hand to my wrist here. And then cast. Cool? Let's run it, one, two, three. What's up guys? If you like that, please smash the like button, tap the subscribe button to support the channel. And then let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Okay.